Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel where we are a community of collectors. Today we are opening up the latest lesson box from the Wizarding Trunk. Now one of the lessons, the magical lessons that's in this box is potions, which is very exciting. I hear that this is one of, if not the best Wizarding Trunk box that has been released. And since the main theme is potions, I think we can expect probably more than one potion or potion ingredient in this box. And you guys know how much I love potions and potion ingredients. Also in this box, since it's one of their lesson boxes, there is a new book cover from Danny at Wizardry Workshop. So I cannot wait, and I'm sure you cannot wait any longer to open up this box. Well, we're gonna have to wait a little longer because here's the intro. The Wizarding Trunk is sponsoring this video, but all opinions are my own. Let's take a look at the box. We have their Owlry theme for this lesson series. It says the Wizarding Trunk presents the Owlry, and here we have the Owlry. Magical post, fragile or fragical, magical delivery, and this is heavy, so there are potions inside. Under the flap, it says buy monthly subscription. Before we dive into this, I want to just say that the Wizarding Trunk is a every other month subscription service. That's their main subscription service. Their current theme is Magical Lessons, but they also have a quarterly special edition box subscription service. They had a Yule theme, Halloween theme, and their next one is themed around the Gamekeeper, which is Hagrid, and that will be coming out soon. All right, we have the cheat sheet right here on the back of the item. Oh no, they're not, wait. Oh, the inside of the items. So it's like a little book. It's a recipe for efficient elixir. The ingredients are not grass, belladonna, fairy wings, two scarab beetles, four sprigs of lavender, crystal infused water. And you'll need a wand, files, cauldron, brass scales, silver dagger, and mortar and pestle. Efficiens is the Latin word for productive, and if brewed correctly, this potion makes the drinker just that. I could always use some productive elixir. So this side shows ingredients and equipment that you'll need, and then this has the preparation instructions. I'm going to put a picture on the screen for you to pause if you would like to read further. All right, so let's put that cheat sheet aside and look at what we're seeing right here. Okay, one, two, three boxes. That might mean three potions. So let's pull this one out right here. Boom. Now also in this box is another lesson. They've actually done boxes where they had three lessons in one box, so there may be three lessons in here. But the main lesson is potions. <gasps> Felix Felicis! There's a Felix Felicis bottle in here. Oh man, this is beautiful. Oh, this is Gorgeous! Look at this bottle. It looks very similar to the one that we see in the movies. I love the shape of it. The color of the potion inside is perfect. This is excellent. Our own little vial of Felix Felicis. I'm gonna have to find some way to prop this up with the rest of my potions. And yes, I know I've been promising for months that I'm gonna show you the potions. I'm still planning to show you the potions, but here's another one to add to the collection. Love this. I mean, this is absolutely perfect. Again, love the shape, love the potion color. Incredible start to this box. I just laid it down on the bubble wrap. Look how it shines and sparkles. It's like magic. There's a pin hidden underneath the Schnigglies here. It is a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. I'm gonna show you guys first. Now there is a pink wrapper, so I'm gonna assume it has something to do with like a love potion. Love potion! It's a love potion pin. This is a nice pin. It has a pearlized effect on the enamel itself, which I like, so it's not super shiny. It's also not like sparkly or glittery. I really like that pearlized look. Well, I guess it is glittery, but it's a matte finish, which makes it look pearlized. And then on the card, it says world's strongest love potion. And the potion bottle itself has a little tag hanging from it that says love. Nice pin, nice size. The Wizarding Trunk puts out really great pins, and this is another great one. Oh boy. I'm not gonna want this one to end, guys. All right, there's this little thing hanging out here, a little bag, and there's a necklace of some sort in here. Astronomy. I bet astronomy is the other lesson for this. It's a little marble on here, and inside looks like a cluster of stars. I don't know what that's called. You know, like the little dipper. It's like a cluster of stars. A star town. There's a picture of a star town in here. It's on a black cord 
chain, and it's a fun item. You can see the galaxy, a galaxy, it's a galaxy. There's a galaxy in here. You can look inside and see the galaxy. I love the look of the galaxy in there. It actually looks like you've got a piece of the galaxy inside of this, this little orb. Almost looks like a prophecy too. I won't wear this, but it's a cool item. And I think we have our two lessons, potions and astronomy. All right, I've got to go for the big box. Big box for Ron right here. Good things come in small and big boxes. It's a, oh, cool. It's a little cauldron mug. Now I actually don't know if this is a mug or if it's just like decorative. Either way, it's very well made. It has a really nice finish on it. Listen to how it sounds when you tap it. So it's a ceramic cauldron and it looks like you can drink out of it, which is fun. This would be a fun soup terrain. I'm not so sure about a hot drink because it doesn't have a handle to protect your hand from the heat, but this is a fun item and a very good decorative item too. I mean, you could do a lot with this and have things coming out of it on your shelves. It feels well made, it's heavy, and it looks very, very cool. All right, what's next? Okay. Oh, the wizarding trunk. You guys kill it every time. So this is a potion ingredient. I don't actually know if you use this in potions ever. You use it to reverse the effects of certain potions or poisons. It's a box of bezoars. A box of bezoars. Of course, this is perfect for this box. And inside, is a box of bezoars, which is a stone taken from the stomach of a goat, and it will save you from most poisons. There are five different stones or bezoars in this box. I love the box. I mean, this is a fantastic item to go with your potions and potion ingredients. Look at that beautiful label. That is really, really nice. Not a practical item, but a great display item. I mean, all the potion ingredients and potions aren't practical because you can't use them. They're just for display. This really adds to a potion ingredient shelf. This may be the best wizarding trunk box that I've opened up. And I loved their headmaster box. They're all Hollow's Eve box, but this one might take the wizarding trunk house cup. We've got another potion here or ingredient. It is, <gasps> okay, how they got a vial of this is beyond me. How they've included it in this box is beyond me because this is one of the rarest substances on earth and also probably the most expensive substances on earth. The only known antidote to basilisk venom, Phoenix Tears. And then on the label it says, very rare immense healing powers. The label shows a phoenix in the center with a tear falling down from its eye, and it is sealed in silver wax. Fantastic potion ingredient, and definitely good to keep with you in case you expect to meet a basilisk on your journey. I love how these are packaged too, like the potions have been really well packed to make sure that they arrive safely. All right, we have um, a little bottle that says, Mr. Brisbane's Brass polish and sanitizer. So I'm assuming for cleaning your astronomy instruments or your brass scales for potions, organic aloe vera gel and juice, 70% alcohol, sweet orange and pink grapefruit essential oils. Leading cleaner for all your astronomical instruments. All right, so this is to clean your astronomy instruments. And this is a hand sanitizer. Oh, it smells good. That smells really good. The orange and the grapefruit just makes a fantastic mixture of smells. It smells really nice. All right, we have another box. I'm gonna put this to the side because this feels like another potion probably and it's pretty heavy. So we're gonna save that. Oh, fun. We got a little potion ingredient that I wasn't expecting to see and then it just rolled out of the schnigglies here. But we have belladonna and not grass seeds. And I think that belladonna was one of their ingredients. Yeah, not grass and belladonna was one of the ingredients for or the Efficiency Elixir. Very cute little vial with a very simple label on it. So this will also be good on the potion shelf. All right, we have our book cover here. I'm gonna put this also aside. And then we have, oh, this is fun. Look at this guys. All right, so we have a notepad and it's like a piece of paper that was taken out of your potions book about the Efficiency Elixir. It shows a shopping list for your ingredients, instructions or a to-do list, and then effect and notes or just notes. So you can use this as a daily notepad to put down items you need to shop for, your to-do list, and any notes that you have for that day while also enjoying the wizarding world. And it looks like there are probably like 25 sheets on this notepad. I like the potion theme in this box as well. All right, it looks like the last item is a print and it's an astronomy print. So it's a star chart 
and it shows the Forbidden Forest and some parts of Hogwarts and different astronomical things you can find. But here is that star chart. Very nice night sky colors and theme. Beautiful blues. Love seeing Hogwarts there on the side. All right, we have two more items. We have the book cover and we have the, I'm thinking, the remaining potion. Let's open the potion first. It is another potion. Looks like a really nice fancy potion. Whoa! Wolfsbane potion! Keep the beast at bay with Wolfsbane, bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Check out that label, that is awesome. And then this little medallion at the top shows a wolf howling at the full moon. The top shows a wolf as well and a full moon on the wax seal. The neck of the bottle is wrapped up in twine and then inside is Wolf's Bane and a blue potion. So if you're a werewolf, I suggest you contact the Wizarding Trunk and see if they have any more of these available. I love the overall look of this. The size is perfect. It's not too big, not too small. The color of the label goes well with the color of the potion. Just an overall really nicely done potion for your potion collection. Wow, that was quite a box. Let's take a look at the information sheet. Just kidding. I know, we have the book cover to see first. Here we go. <gasps> It's gonna be an astronomy textbook. So the book covers that the Wizarding Trunk is releasing were designed by Danny at Wizardry Workshop. If you've not seen his work, definitely check out Wizardry Workshop here on YouTube. He's fantastic with like paper replicas and that sort of thing. But the Wizarding Trunk and Danny have paired up together to create book covers that fit the US first editions by Scholastic that normally feature the Mary Grand Pre cover artwork. And each one of the book covers in the different boxes fits one of the seven Harry Potter books. We've had one through four already this will fit Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. It looks like the entire cover might be made out of blue foiling. Oh my goodness. Are you seeing this right now? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. You guys are going to flip out when you see this. Before I show you, Danny, how you come up with this stuff is beyond me. The book was written by Gwendolyn Galvin, written in the stars, astrology for the modern age. How cool is this? Look at that blue foiling, like it's everywhere. I love the texture, it looks like it's an old book. Absolutely stunning. We've gotta put this on Order of the Phoenix right now. So the Wizarding Trunk covers fit on this edition, the first Scholastic editions, and Order of the Phoenix is for the astrology textbook. So what we're gonna do is gonna lay it flat, put the spine in the center, make sure it's lined up, fold the front or back flaps in. Don't make a crease just yet because we want to make sure that the book is perfectly centered. Check the spine, nice centering there. And very quickly and easily, you now have your own written in the stars textbook. Here's the front of the book with those star constellations, that witch on the front with her telescope. I love the look of the binding on the textbook. It looks like it has texture and it's just old and aged. Here is that beautiful back cover. And then the spine, written in the stars by Gwendolyn Galvin. Fantastic box. So potions and astronomy or astrology, I think it's astronomy, were the lessons for this box. And it's time to look at the information sheet. The Wizarding Trunk, Potions and Astronomy. The first item was written in the Star's astronomy book cover. This book cover is exclusive to the Wizarding Trunk and was created by Danny at Wizardry Workshop. This book fits the fifth American hardback. Wolf's Bane Potion. This potion is used to lessen the effects of lycanthropy. This bottle was designed by Wizardry Workshop and created by Pure Blood Apothecary. Bezoar Box. A bezoar is a stone that is taken from the intestines of an animal and are considered to be a remedy for almost any poison if swallowed whole. Designed by Wizardry Workshop and created by Pure Blood Apothecary. Cauldron Planter. This standard size two cauldron is designed to be a planter to grow any potion ingredients you may not have on hand. Okay, cool, so it's a little pot, a little cauldron pot to grow plants in. So we're gonna have to see what we can plant in here. Phoenix Tears. Phoenix Tears are known to have healing properties and are very rare. While they can be used as a standalone healing agent, adding just one drop to any healing tonic strengthens the potion greatly. Designed by J.P. Missile Crow. Galaxy Necklace. 
Not everyone can make it to the highest tower to complete their schoolwork. Gaze into this necklace and admire the galaxy within to complete your schoolwork from anywhere. Vial of Molten Gold Liquid. Each of these teardrop-shaped bottles were hand-blown exclusively for the wizarding trunk. Use this vial for one amazing and lucky day. Use it well. Bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Mr. Brisbane's Brass Polish and Sanitizer. This astronomical polish and sanitizer is actually a spray on hand sanitizer that was created for us by Alchemy for the Skin. World's Strongest Love Potion Pin. While we understand that most interpretations of this love potion are red and pink, this potion actually has a mother of pearl sheen. Not grass and belladonna seeds. These seeds are actual flowering seeds that will produce green and blue flowering plants. Great for your new cauldron planter or simply to display. That is fun. So we're gonna have to grow these and see what comes out. Keep an eye on the Potter Collector Instagram account because I will post a picture update at some point when these seeds have flowered. Efficiens Elixir Recipe Notepad. Efficiens translates to productive in Latin. This elixir is designed to make you just that. Caution, taking this elixir in excess can result in extreme exhaustion. Star Chart on the Grounds. This print depicts the view of the stars from the grounds, created for us by JP Missile Crow. This is hard. I don't know if this is my favorite or second favorite, but it's absolutely in my top two from the Wizarding Trunk. They knocked it out of the park on this one. All right, favorite. Favorite and least favorite items. It's hard because I love potions. You guys know I love potions and ingredients. Let's separate the potion items into one category and I'll pick one. That's gonna be hard to do. But I love this bottle of Felix Felicis. The bottle itself is beautiful. The color of the gold liquid was perfect. I'm gonna have to pick something else because the Bezoars, I mean, this is fantastic. This is gonna look awesome on my potion shelf. Um, the book cover is a favorite. I love the idea of the planter and the included seeds. I mean. This whole box feels very cohesive, which is a big plus in my book. I love boxes that have a great theme and items coordinate with other items. Um, least favorite items, although it's kind of a clever item, it, I would never wear this. I can see that it was well done and well made. It's just something I wouldn't use personally. And then the art print, although it's cool looking, I wish it was a little less cartoony and maybe more like a star chart from a textbook or something. I understand the concept of it, but I would have liked it better if it was like a page from a textbook. What did you like the best? What did you like the least? How do you think the Wizarding Trunk did on making a really nice cohesive box? Let me know in the comments down below. And you're also letting the Wizarding Trunk know because they read the comments and it actually helps them curate future boxes with your ideas and thoughts. If you would like to subscribe to the Wizarding Trunk, either their regular bi-monthly subscription service or their quarterly special edition subscription service, check the description down below. There's also a coupon code to save 10% off of your subscription. That coupon code is key. Keep collecting 10. That coupon code will also save you money on single items that are sold on their website shop. So if there's something that you saw here or something you saw in a past box that you're like, oh, I wish I could have that, they might have them available in their online shop. So check that out, link down below in the description. And if you don't see something, you can also contact them and say, hey, do you have this item that I saw on the Potter Collectors video? And they will be able to tell you whether or not they have it available. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collectors community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?